Hello, pilots. Welcome to another mech spotlight. Today, we'll be taking a look at one of the most versatile mechs in the arena, the Paragon. Well, there's a familiar sight. That's the mech you start with, right? Sure is. Isn't the Paragon, like, bad? It's a bad mech, right? Well, that depends on how you're trying to use it and when. Walk me through this, then. So, if you look at Paragon's stat page, it calls itself the Generalist. It's a jack of all trades, with decent health, very high energy capacity, and good speed, especially while using its ability. All right, but the other half of jack of all trades is master of none. Yeah, that's absolutely true. A Paragon can't control the battlefield like Panther. It isn't fast like Shadow or Killshot, and it doesn't have the crowd control of Zephyr or Guardian. But it does have something else. What's that? Flexibility. Tell me. What do you do as a Guardian when you get caught with your ability on cooldown? I usually die. And as a Zephyr? I definitely die. And if you make a bad melee dash as a kill shot? Dunzo. <laughs> a Guardian system crashes your Panther? All right, I get it. When each of those mechs are put in a situation outside of their specialization, they're toast. Exactly. But now hold on. Paragons don't have this problem? Not in the same way. Paragon doesn't need to put itself in danger to fight effectively and is deceptively quick. But. Oh, the speed boost! The speed boost. For those six seconds, you can keep up with most scouts. It's critical for lining up a shot or falling back when the enemy is pushing up. Just a bit of maneuverability, but it keeps you safe. So a Paragon is never really vulnerable? Well, no. Honestly, a Paragon is kind of always vulnerable. It's just not that tough. And it's not hard to hit. But if you're using the terrain to your advantage, it's really difficult to get caught when you're not ready to fight. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. I'm convinced, at least, that the Paragon isn't bad. But is it ever good? Well, remember how I said it had a very high energy capacity? I might have undersold it a bit. It has top-tier energy capacity, after upgrades. Naturally. But, okay, so lots of guns. Big guns. Snipers? Snipers, sure. Paragon's no panther, but it's quick so it can not avoid a lot of returning fire. Missile racks? Missile racks are good, though you've always got to be careful stepping into a firefight. That goes for plasma cannons and RPGs too. All good weapons as long as you pick your battles. And Paragons can pick their battles better than most, with their speed. I imagine it's not bad at flanking too. Yep, very true. But you're missing the place where Paragon shines most. Artillery platform? Or maybe you're not missing it. Just saving the best for last. Paragon's kit seems perfect for the role, though. Nothing spectacular except a ton of energy capacity and a high movement speed. But that means you can mount your biggest rocket mortars on it without sacrificing potential. Yeah, that's it exactly. All the other high energy mechs have abilities to push them to engage the enemy. System crash, stasis barrier, caustic blast. The humble Paragon just moves quickly, which happens to help it dodge enemy fire in an artillery duel. Okay. I'm convinced. The Paragon might have a place in my squad after all. It actually seems to be pretty good at filling gaps. What more could you want from a generalist? All right, that's all we've got for today's Mech Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see some more useful mech tips, subscribe to our channel. Until, Until next time, time, good luck, pilots!